programming their splats. They have, I've, I've programmed their splats on this one with the help of Unruly Studios. First person says go. Click one. Click two. Click three. Click four. And then they light up red and the stopwatch stops on the iPad. Here's what the code looks like. She touches two. She touches three. She touches four. The stopwatch stops and they light up red. All right, so right now we're just doing some shuttle runs. And then after that, we have some relay races. We can do the same programming with relay races, where we're gonna change the code at the top instead of points to win with four, we can change points to win to six, eight, 10, 12, whatever, however many people they have in the group. So since this group has four people, they would set the points to win to eight. But right now we're just doing shuttle run. So all we need is four times. And then it gives them their score. These are unruly splats. Great addition to STEM in the gym. You want to check them out. Go to the Unruly Splats website. Check them out online, Unruly Studios. Freeze low. Freeze low if you're frozen. Keep going. Keep going. Let's just change the song. Save and hit the splat. <laughs> Alright, so once they get to their 10th hit, it'll turn red. You got it. And they all turn yellow. Another one over there. Yellow has to be close to The green.
scratch code for their classes, and we don't have a lot of time to write on scratch code here. But what they're doing is they're writing down what they want their splat to do, and in what order they want their splat to do. So it's like coding. They're getting in their mind what they want to happen, and in what order they want it to happen. Collaboration and cooperation amongst first graders and kindergartners. Unruly splats, STEM in the gym. So now we have groups of three. They have one iPad, two splats, and they're trying to create what to do with two splats and coding. So they're familiarizing themselves with the code of the unruly splats and they're working together to come up with a game for today. And then next class, they'll keep working on it and by the end of the week, they're going to see what they can come up with. Captain America, Iron Man, Groot, Doctor Strange, and, Ra and Rocket. Good job, and this is your coding over here. Okay. Right. This is like a racing game. And so, um, you can come out far when it starts. Um, you can, uh, so when it starts, there's a stopwatch. And whoever can get the most points and touch the spot, like, when they touch the spot and they run out and get up, they get a point, and the first person with 20 points wins. But if they get more in 30 seconds, they, they, that adds more points on the 20. So let's give it a try then. So what these boys created is a little race where they can get the coding. They start on one side. Three, two, one, go. As soon as he hits it, it starts the stopwatch. When he gets the other side, it stops the stopwatch. And it tells him how fast he was able to run. Then they programmed it to delay for seven seconds. And then it resets. And then the next person can do it. So he can start it as soon as he presses it. It starts. And it stops. Five and seconds. His score was 5.13. We all got five seconds. Guys, give each other a high five. Good job. We're creative.